Tech issues can be difficult to deal with, and are even more frustrating when you try to describe the problems you're experiencing to a tech support professional who's trying to help you fix the issue over a phone call. Remote desktop tools are designed to combat this problem. They allow tech support teams to directly see user behavior, application quirks, and desktop environments for themselves. They can also help technical teams launch new releases and updates for clients and quickly install applications, rather than guiding them through every step of setup. It can be tricky to decide which remote desktop tools are right for your needs. To help you decide which tool is the best for your business, we synthesized hundreds of user reviews from TrustRadius for the most popular remote desktop tools. We'll go over the best use cases for each software, as well as their top pros and cons. ConnectWise Control is a popular choice among small IT companies that need remote support clients to provide efficient and fast client support. Once installed on a server, machine, or network, this self-hosted software allows users to initiate screen-sharing sessions from the central web application. ConnectWise Control also features an open architecture structure so that users may implement custom plugins, scripting, or integrations. Users of ConnectWise Control appreciate that it includes an auto-reconnect feature, where after an initial connection is lost, the system reconnects automatically, saving a lot of time. It also features a technician toolbox, which allows technicians to save frequently used support tools for a quick download to end-user devices, and an easy-to-use interface for technicians. In addition, it also has the benefit of being Linux-compatible, allowing more options for what operating system you can use it on. However, ConnectWise Control does have a few limitations worth considering. Users note that the interface is not always organized in a way that is convenient, with some buttons and boxes placed in arrangements that do not serve their purpose as well as they could. Users have also noticed an issue where the software does not always prompt for administrator access when it needs to, causing some problems with the support worker's ability to help. Additionally, ConnectWise Control is noted by some reviewers to be an expensive option. ConnectWise Control is a good option for smaller businesses, but it may not be the best option if you want something less expensive. Apple Remote Desktop was designed for volume, with the ability for the primary user to manage large numbers of computers at once. ARD users have the ability to install updates or software on multiple computers at one time. This makes it an ideal option for educators or anyone else who works in computer labs with a large number of students or users. ARD also allows three levels of connection, ranging from read-only from the administrator to fully admin-only control. Reviews of Apple Remote Desktop consistently praise the software's ability to manage multiple computers at once, a great strength in the educational sphere that is popularly used in today. Additionally, the fact that it is specially designed to fit in with the Mac universe is a large plus to anyone on that operating system looking for a reliable tech support tool. Conversely, the fact that Apple Remote Desktop is limited to Macs means that it is not a viable option for anyone running computers and labs on other operating systems. Reviewers also note that in order to properly take advantage of ARD's multiple system functionality, you must first have a proper VPN setup, which can mean extra time and work for any potential users that do not have a VPN system in place already. Apple Remote Desktop is a strong candidate for Mac users looking for tech support tools to use with large numbers of machines. Users of other operating systems, however, will have to consider other options. GoToAssist is aimed at support professionals and IT technicians who assist and diagnose a large number of client issues on a day-to-day -day basis. It's a leading cloud-based solution for IT monitoring and desk service administration. Reviewers praise GoToAssist for being convenient and easy to use. It's easy to access, offering simple remote support via two-way screen sharing, and up to eight separate viewers so that a team can diagnose support issues, rather than just individuals. Client sessions can also be recorded, allowing for easy review of an interaction even at a later date, which helps reduce support tickets. Despite these strengths, GoToAssist has a few weaknesses worth considering. GoToAssist is noted by multiple reviewers to be quite expensive, especially if you want to take full advantage of all its options for support. Additionally, at times, clients have had trouble installing GoToAssist, making it difficult to get the tech support process started. GoToAssist is a strong contender for individuals in the tech industry who are looking for software that is easy to use with great support for a tech support team. However, it may not be the best option for a team operating on a smaller budget. ConnectWise Control, Apple Remote Desktop, and GoToAssist are all strong options for remote tech support tools. However, 
there are a few key differentiators that are worth taking into consideration when choosing. ConnectWire Control provides plenty of options for customization, and its reconnection features are good for saving time and keeping the tech support process running even in the face of connection issues. Apple Remote Desktop is a great tool for educators, allowing for administrators to manage multiple computers at once with relatively little trouble. GoToAssist is a strong tech support tool, ideal for IT teams who want to be able to perform support sessions in groups and the built-in ability to record sessions for review later. If you still aren't sure which of these solutions is right for you, consider checking out some verified reviews on TrustRadius.com. All reviews are from real users who share their experiences, use cases, pros, and cons. Let us know which of these remote desktop tool options is the best fit for your use case. And if you liked this video, consider liking or subscribing so that you never miss an upload.